green life. You know him. Hi, guys. I hope everyone is okay. Try to turn up my volumes. If anyone come online, of my subscribers, so just visit us. Can you please just say hi chat so that I can know that I'm not just all alone here. So it's been over a year. Yeah, it's been over a year since I did my last video. And as you can see, the color and the brightness of my camera shows that this is a massive upgrade to compare to my my two previous videos. One is three years ago and the other one is uh, over a year ago um they were all recorded uh, they all recorded from my uh, laptop so it wasn't a very good quality videos at that point but i was trying to share some really good uh, some important uh, information for the ladies and they, I'm, I'm very, very thankful to my subscribers. So I had a look and I still have over 200 subscribers. <laughs> I do appreciate that, considering that I don't do a regular video. But I'm telling you, I bought a new camera. Can you believe that? And I installed it all by myself. This is my new camera, Logitech. Uh, C920. I installed it myself. So now that my camera is good, uh, I think I will. Um, I will start to do more videos. Okay. I think I'm probably gonna start the video and uh, upload it so that um, my subscribers, the ones that that is not live. At the moment, to we'll have the chance to watch it uh, offline or watch it later on, if you like. So, just to refresh everyone's memory, my last video was uh, about this product. Um, looks look a little bit upside down but this product is called Eladian direct plus after the video um i did get a lot of uh, um comments questions and a lot of people ordered it from our website we're still selling this product so it's 10 tablets this is the back and this is the front you can see five or five down, so ten. Um, is very good at clearing BV, bacterial vaginosis, which is the the bacteria that causes uh, you know women to have uh, uh, discharges, which can smell like fishy, you know. So, Eladium Direct Plus is very good for that. It doesn't only clear. Uh, bacteria, vaginosis, you also clear uh, other type of trauma in the vagina area and other type of uh, bacteria. This product is originally made in Poland, so it's not in English. The only little English in this product is on the ingredients. Okay, so the ingredient is also in English and they're in Polish. Right. And I've received a lot of uh, good feedback and uh, good reviews on this product. A lot of people said this product has helped them. So I'm checking to see if there is any any message. Um, okay. Um, sorry, guys. Just bear with me. Um, I'm just learning. I'm still in learning process of uh, working with these videos on YouTube and everything. 
to do with it. So I'm just reading a message on my on my screen. It says something about me receiving charts. So I will say, got it. It says, learn more. I'll type, hi, guys. Hi, guys. Okay. Well, as I was saying, but today I'm not here to talk about this product. If you want to know more about the Eladium Direct Plus, just uh, watch my previous video. You might be disappointed because uh, those videos are not very good. Uh, but the information that I was trying to convey was clear. Okay. Uh, let me check my volume, guys. Welcome to live chat. Remember to guide your privacy. And, uh, okay, this, my volume is on. Now that I clicked on it, it's gone off. So what I want to talk about today is um, the reason why I douche. I use douching and the reason why I recommend it. Uh, this would be a good time to mention that this is not a health advice. If you have any medical condition, um, it would be wise to visit your, your personal health care provider and they will offer you the help that you need. So this is just an information based of the things that I do that I like to share for every, anyone who is uh, listening or interested to know uh, alternative stuff. So let's start from uh, trying to clear the confusion about douching, right? I don't understand why there is so much misinformation uh, about douching. Some people say douching is good. Some people say douching is bad. I've even watched a video on Dr. Oz. If you're watching my video now and you don't know who is Dr. Oz, you probably should um, type it in on Google and you will see Dr. Oz is a celebrity doctor. He he gets a lot of salespeople and everything coming up, people coming up and they're, they're talking about all, all sorts of stuff, mainly health uh, stuff, right? This... Um, Few years ago, when I was having a lot of vagina problem, not at the moment, because I cleared my problem when I started to drink a purified water. That's when my BV was controlled completely, right? I'm not going to go into that. But I think it was at that point when I was looking for you know, remedies on YouTube, and I found this uh, video of Dr. Oz. This lady came on Dr. Oz, said, oh, Douching is bad, but she has invented this product. This product, when you, you put just a tap water in it, you insert it into your, your VJ, and then you squeeze it. The water splashes on the side. It doesn't splash up. It cleans the vagina, blah, blah, blah. I was just saying, I said, water? What? <laughs> what is she talking about? Like, I've seen a douche equipment from the Victorian time. This is maybe over 200 years ago. <clears throat> is made at that point in Victorian time. This douche equipment is made to splash water side by side. I've never seen any douche, any douche bag or douche equipment or whatever you want to call it, that splashy with water up, even the one from the medieval time. I've never seen any that's so I don't know what she's talking about, but it just seemed like it's okay. Uh, douche and all these sort of products are okay when they are they are the ones selling it. But when you go on the internet or ask questions, there is so much misinformation. And I'm I like to research, and when I research, I don't see any concrete uh, reason why some people or some internet blogs and whatever says that douching is bad for you. I don't see the reason, right? But bear in mind, if you overdo anything, it will be bad for you. You've been drinking water, you've been eating food. If you overdo it, you will be in trouble, okay? So let's go into what I use douches for and why I use it, right? 
douche douche is good for after you've had your period give it five days or four days use a douche to clean yourself right I've got something here that I'm going to show to you. This is one of the best douche that I've ever used. This is really, really good douche. It's silicone. You can see. It's just squeeze there. It's a silicone stuff and it's not very big, right? When I bought this and it arrived, I was like, oh, where is the tip? Where is it? This is not what I saw on the picture before I ordered it. Where is the tip? <laughs> Then, this is the tape. It's also silicone. It's soft. It's a little bit wet because I washed it. Okay. And if you look at it here, I don't know if you can see. You can see that it has like a small dent. Oh, yeah. I've just flashed the holes. It has a small dent. And all those dents. Um, yeah yeah this is better yeah bingo you can see the holes all those holes is all side 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 by side holes meaning that when you put this soft thingy that even your finger is softer than this when you put it into your body and you squeeze this so it goes oh sorry guys it goes in like this It goes in like this. So you put it in. It's quite long. You don't want to like shove it all the way in. Well, if you can, then go on. But I doubt it on the standing position. So when I put it in, it goes all the way here. It goes past the... It goes past the dents. Yeah. Yeah. So just here. That's good. That's the length it goes when I... On, on the standing position when I put it inside my uh, VJ or whatever you want to call it. Then I squeeze. I squeeze like two times. Squeeze the first time the big water pumps out and pump out anything that is in there. Especially after period, I notice that some small clots of blood seem to hang on the vaginal wall. Don't forget that vagina is a very smooth surface. It's a very rough surface. Sorry, it's not smooth at all. It's very rough. It's, it's made like that for a reason. So things have the tendencies of stocking on that wall. It's going to eventually discharge and come out. But sometimes it's slow. And when it's something to do with old blood hanging about and waiting to, you know, you cannot rush mother nature. Mother Nature has to take its time. So when um, um, well, if anyone is, you know, watching uh, my subscribers, please just uh, say hi so that I can know that you're here. Um, so what was I saying? So the vagina surface is very rough. I think almost everyone knows this. I wouldn't say everyone, but most people know. So um anything that is in, is in the vagina area that is not part of your vagina cells vagina skin we eventually discharge and come off but sometimes it takes time so when a, a little bit of tiny piece of cloth of blood is hanging in your vagina five days after your period eventually it's going to make you it's going to cause brown discharges and it's also going to cause smell because it's blood isn't it so you can speed things up by just putting ordinary tap water in this. Put it in, push it, flush everything out. So wherever this charger is coming at this point will be a fresh discharge. Okay, so this is the first reason that you can use a douche. Just to clean yourself out after this charge. If you don't want to wait for Mother Nature, to take maybe a week before discharging all the bloods out from the around surround the vagina surrounding, right? Another uh, reason for using douche is 
douche has been used for, for centuries to introduce medicines into the vagina area. Okay, so people have serious health problem, maybe after childbirth, they have a scar or a cut or something going on inside and they need to put like herb into, you know, um, they need to put like herb onto that area. If it's a liquid herb, the best option would be or has always been to use a douche and introduce that herb or water or whatever it is into the vagina canal okay so it has been used for a very long time to introduce all sorts of medication into the vagina what i would not recommend for anyone to do is to try to use um, a douche as a contraceptive because very often it does not work okay in fact there has been some research that says actually if you maybe you have sex with your boyfriend maybe the condom is broken maybe you didn't want to have the sex without condom but something happened this that that or whatever yari 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 and you end up having the sex uh, without condom and you are uh, worried about getting pregnant <laughs> and you don't want to go and get emergency contraceptive from the pharmacy which here in the uk i think is free don't use douche don't put water in this and pump it into you thinking it's going to remove the sperm because the research shows that actually the water can push the sperm up to your service and you end up getting that result that you don't want to so this is the only thing that I can say, do not use douche for. But if anyone watching this video wants to challenge me and say, oh, douche is bad, you must explain to me why it's bad. You must show me your research. Don't go copying things on the internet, on Google, and coming to make a quote to me. You must give me a quote from a medical journal you must have a backup for your research to convince me otherwise. So if you don't have a proper research on the reason why you think douche is not good, so if, if that's the case, keep your opinions to yourself, okay? So number third reason why douche can be helpful to you in... Um, cleaning yourself and uh, improving your hygiene is if you're on antibiotics and then um, after taking the antibiotics you notice that you're having like sticky white discharges you're having itchiness and you're having vagina odor you can use douche i'll show you some other things which you can use with the douche okay so this video is 18 minutes. I'll try to keep it under um, 25 minutes, 30 minutes. Because at the moment, I don't really have anyone online. I don't blame my subscribers because I don't really do video very often. So it's probably that um, because I don't do video very often, no one is really watching or they don't have notifications. But I will upload this video so that... Um, when they come back at their own time, they can watch it. So this is apple cider vinegar. This one is Aspel, organic apple cider vinegar. Aspel is a, is, is a UK brand. Uh, I know that uh, Brog, the American one, is very popular here on YouTube. And uh, it has the mother. Well, this is cheap. I bought this from Holland and Barrett. Uh, I think it's less than three pounds, right? It doesn't have the mother, but if you, I use it for flavoring salads and I use it for the douche as well. So for the douche, 
you don't really need the one with the mother anyways. You need something that is triple filtered. There is no debris in it because the mother is that debris that that is in um um that comes with the 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 brog the I think they have with the mother and without the mother. So you don't need what I'm trying to say is that you don't need with the mother for your douche. Okay. So all you need to do, right? For this container here, I think this container is around 150 ml of water. Uh, unfortunately, it does not say the measurements on the body, but what I normally do is I use that plastic cup or glass jar, the one that has the measurement lining on it. I use it to measure the water. And I usually use tap water. If you have distilled water, by all means, use it. But if you don't have distilled water, don't let that stop you from doing the treatment. Okay? Um, you take about four tablespoons of this. Because this is acidic. This, is, this has the same acidity or similar acidity to the vagina environment anyway. The vagina environment might be more acidic, really, because it needs the acidity to keep you healthy uh, and keep the vagina environment healthy. But once your pH is not balanced, that's when you start to have problems. So this you can use, take it from your kitchen. If you don't have it, get one and put it in the kitchen. Use the apple one, apple cider, to be on the safe side. Don't use the, the malted vinegar. And don't use the white vinegar as well because it's very highly processed and loads of chemicals. So four tablespoons for uh, 150 ml. Mix it in a warm water, uh, you know, just to make it warm and cozy. And then just put it in, use it, just use it to flush the vagina area. After a period, maybe uh, you feel like you don't smell so fresh or whatever, or you've been to swimming pools. So this will clean and also re uh, um, leave some acidity in the vagina, which is what you need, okay? If you don't have apple cider vinegar, you can use a lemon or a lime. So this one is a lime. Cut it, squeeze it into a a sieve to remove all the seed and all the debris because you don't want to, you're trying to get some debris away from this you don't want to introduce new ones in one is okay all you need you can like i said before you can use ordinary water or the best thing the best way is also to use something that is acidic natural stuff that is acidic because the vagina wants acidity as it thrives in acidity. Um, so a lemon or a lime, if you have it at home and you don't have apple cider vinegar, um, then just um, use this, cut it, squeeze it, and uh, mix it with water. I'm going to put the link below so that uh, if you want to order this, I bought this from Amazon. You can order it. It's very good. It's very good. I put it like this in my bathroom. My partner see it. He, he thinks, I say, what's that black stuff? He, he said to me, is that not your makeup stuff? <laughs> yes, of course, it's my makeup stuff. Of course, I don't want to stand it upright like this. So everyone coming into the toilet, to use the toilet will say, what the hell is that? <laughs> so it's good. It's a very good way to disguise. So these two guys, these two guys, yeah, okay. So last but not the least is this. So this is MMS. If you don't know what MMS is, is just type in Jim Humble on on YouTube. You will find the guy who is the inventor of this MMS, and this guy has made so many videos, and his follower followers has made so many videos about MMS and all the illness that you can use MMS to treat. And also, 
um, there's other YouTubers that's uh, made a lot of videos. So the video about MMOS is all over YouTube. You wouldn't even, you wouldn't even uh, struggle to find one. Okay, so the Jim Humble's MMOS, the one that he recommend, is uh, twenty eight percent, right? You need the MMOS the chlorine dioxide and you need the activator and the activator can be um hyaluronic acid or um oh, what was the name of the other one lactic acid right that's what you need to act uh, you need the lactic acid or the hyaluronic acid with the chlorine dioxide for activation i will show a bit of a demonstration here now but i would think that most people have seen this on youtube you probably didn't know that it can you it can be used for douching. I have used it before so many times, really. But for a beginner, this one I bought it on Amazon. I also put the link below. This one is two percent, two percent, two percent. This is very very weak to com to compare to the one that uh, Jim Humble recommends for treating all sorts of viral infection malaria and all sorts of things used to improve uh, people's health this is way below what he recommends so this one is when i saw this and it says two percent i said hmm i get it i've tried to drink mms in the past i had a healing crisis that scared me and since then i've, I've not used it again but I've, I've used it recently for, for douching, okay? So I will show you an example. Uh, this product can be used for severe vagina infection. If you have a severe vagina infection, um, trash, cheesy or cottage cheese in, uh, discharges, Maybe you've taken antibiotics and from that time on, your vagina is just causing you so much problem. This could be tried. Um, if you're doing it for the first time and you're probably a bit scared, uh, I will rec recommend to find this on YouTube and buy this. Sorry, not YouTube, Amazon. This one is 2%, is very low. And for do, for you to do more research for yourself and see if this is what you want to, if you want to try this or not. But I used it; it didn't harm me. And uh, many women, if you type in using MMS for douche on YouTube, you will see loads of videos. As this woman said, after using it, something was coming out from her, like it has eyes and legs. When I used mine, I use I didn't use. I've used this particular one, but when I use mine for what I wanted to use it for, I use the recommended ones, which is the 20%, 28 uh, percent hyaluronic acid and 20 percent, 28 percent chlorine dioxide. That's what I used. Uh, but this, I use this for maintenance, like from time to time, I just uh, make a douche, you know. So usually, the chlorine dioxide it always have a blue paint or a blue picture like this you always see when you get both you will know the one with the blue stuff is usually the chlorine dioxide and the one with the red stuff is usually the activator so just bear in mind that um two of them will have two different colors the blue all the ones that i've seen there is always something blue for, for this because also this can be used for water purifying for drinking water really so let's do some demonstration show you how and so this is a glass cup okay so i'm just gonna put a few drops one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so this is a fifteen drops which is nothing because when I did uh, that 28 drops, sorry, that 28%, I, I still did uh, 15 drops. Um, it's probably a bit, 
a bit a bit too strong for me and considering that my douche stuff is not very big so you also need to target the size of your douche container if it's bigger than this you probably need to add more but if you're doing it for the first time for the fact that you've not done it before and you might be scared it's probably better to um start small okay um so i have 15 drops here that actually you can see it can't you yeah you can see it. this cam is really good cam okay so usually you put the one in the blue container the chlorine dioxide but the way those people is made their product they actually named though two, two of these as chlorine dioxide so the blue one is chlorine dioxide the the red one is chlorine dioxide probably they try to protect themselves so they can be able to sell it on amazon and they I noticed that they didn't want to call it mms so but as a pro as someone that used this before one as soon as i saw it i i was able to identify the how it goes which one is which so now i'm going to put the activator this is nothing without this activator you must activate it otherwise this is just water or so some chemical that that does not mean anything one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fifteen so when i pour it i actually like squeeze the squeeze this a little bit to get it to come out faster and because i use it very often when i eyeball it i know that this is around 15 you can see the color start to change if this is the 28 percent of uh, lactic acid and the uh, chlorine dioxide or um chlorine dioxide and hyaluronic acid if this is the 20 percent and you've put in these 15 drops oh my god the smell will cover everywhere you can actually feel smoke coming in like because it's gas and uh, it will be a lot browner than this within you know 30 seconds so let's keep this here and uh, well i'm live so i really cannot pause this video unless i have to end it so um this video now is on 32 percent so i'm gonna try to keep it 35 percent to finish this within the next uh, three minutes so this is the when i did this at home you can see it didn't really get much browner than this after i left it for five minutes so when you put it together set a timer on your phone and leave it for five minutes then i have some water here sometimes i do use a uh, mineral um i think smells i don't like the smell though mineral water uh, if you have some so you dilute it what i do is i put some small mineral water like that then i transfer it into my douche then i i take more a little bit more cold water then I add a bit more hot water to make it warm. Then I also transfer it here and I'll check the temperature to make sure it's not too cold or too hot. I've also made it without checking the temperature. And when I push it in, it was really warm, but it didn't burn me. It's not like it's not hot to burn me, but I would prefer if it was a little bit uh, cooler than that. I don't like too much of hot heat stuff. So you just do this and water will come out from the hose on the side. And you check the temperature then you take it to the bathroom i usually use it at the end of my showering so i finish showering i'm just about to come up i'll push this yeah for use it push it in because also when the water flows in especially the mrs when it flows in and flow out any infection on the outer side of the uh, labia you will also take care of it this is bacteria buster what I don't know, it, and I don't think the the strength or the chemicals in this causes any harm to the friendly, the normal friendly bacteria in the vagina area because the friendly bacteria in the vagina area likes acidity, and this is acidity. While the bad bacteria 
does not like acidity. They actually take hold when your alkaline, when your vagina become more alkaline. So when your vagina uh, acidity is in balance, that's when the bad bacteria start to thrive. Okay, so we are on thirty five minutes now, guys. Uh, oh yes, I think I pretty much covered everything. Um, if you have any question for me, uh, leave the comment below. I will put the video and uh, I'll upload the video so that my subscribers will watch. And uh, I will um, put the link for you to order this if you want to. I don't sell it and I don't get any affiliates. I just use it. Okay. Um, as for uh, what was it called? Uh, apple cider vinegar. Make your own choice, but don't use anything that has debris in it. And uh, don't forget to drink water. I am at the office now. You can see I'm rocking my office chair. Uh, next time I make a video, then my back will be looking a bit more beautiful than so bland. Um, also, forget don't forget to drink good purified water this water here i get it free at the, at the um what's it called uh, here in the office i've had this there for a week i'm not even drinking it i do come in with my own water which is over there i'm still drinking water from my breather filtered okay drink good water cut down sugar and then see how it goes bye oh by the way if you like my video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe bye